look at that beautiful beautiful sky that is absolutely gorgeous completely different to what i woke up to this morning you're going to see that in a bit but today we're going to be doing some tidying cleaning all those things that you try and get done while the kids are in school and also some painting because i'm on it but i'm also on one i tell you i'm on one you know why because not so long ago a couple of videos back i told you that i was feeling really really ill came down with this awful bug i was having night sweats anyway it's been a couple of days been thinking oh you know it's on its way out i've just got a bit of a nose a bit of a throat it's on its way out no it's come back it's come back with vengeance oh my god i feel absolutely dreadful i've not sneezed so much in my life as i have today i've got big lumps all down the side of my left right what side is it right right side i have to do that i never know my left and rights unless i work them out by hand um right side on my tongue and all outside of my lip bottom lip on the right side big itchy hot flaming lumps are appearing under the surface of my lip i know what's coming already painful painful cold so and i'm not ready for it i'm not i feel awful anyway i hope everybody's well hope you're all good did you have a nice day yesterday in the sunshine that was there look at it you'd think it was spring you think i was doing a spring clean yes but no here we are coming towards the end of november i'm stressed to the absolute max because all i can think about is christmas my brain cannot let me sleep so i wake up all flipping night thinking about how am i going to do christmas how i don't know how i'm going to do christmas obviously go try and do your best as we always do but i always say to myself every year i'm going to start getting things at the beginning of the year and do i no no i don't and then i say september when they're all back in school i'm taking it off yes getting rid of that so it's not so cluttered um yeah september when they're back at school after the summer holidays all my money can now go on christmas do i spend it on christmas no what do i do i get other stuff don't i i get other stuff i'm like oh yeah well you know they need new school bags they need new this new that and i do all that look at that sky it's bringing the goods it's bringing the goods i need to sneeze again i'm trying so hard to hold it back hold it back we're at a point right it gets to that point doesn't it and i think i'm at that point right now where you know when people say to you is it all right if i come over i've got cold and you're like yeah no it's fine don't worry about it it's just a cold yeah if you get a little soft toothbrush in the old um floor dividers oh oh my god it makes me happy it makes me happy because you see it all coming out and it all comes out like oh yes and then you see it on the tissue it makes me happy it makes me happy i'm literally rocking from side to side watching it because of the excitement my toes are curling anyway at that point now where someone says to me is it right if i still come i've got a bit of a cold you keep well away you go away with your filth because i don't want it doesn't matter what i do my immune system is absolutely shot to pieces and they do say that with fibro you have a very low immune system well low i feel like i've got a bug every two weeks actually no that's that's being that's being ridiculous it's more like every two days something new comes into my system and then goes no you're gonna be ill how do you feel about that you gonna be ill and i'm at a point now where it's like okay I, I might as well just accept my fate and be ill every blimmin day yeah i'll just take cold and flu medicine for the rest of my life shove tissue up my nose not be able to breathe and then i'm just just suffer sweats sweats and everyone can just smell that I've got a bug because you have that bug smell about you. I don't know if you smell it on yourself, but it's that weird kind of, you know when you sniff your blanket when you've had sweats through the night and you're like, oh gosh, that's a bit honky, isn't it? It's a bit of a stench. Yeah, that's all I smell on myself. So I'm showering like an absolute demon, but then I get out and I'm literally covered in goosebumps so I'm shaking like an absolute, I don't know what. And it's freezing and I can't cope with it. I can't cope with it. But yeah, that's how that's how I'm feeling right now. Can you tell I'm on a rant? Because I don't even know what I'm talking about after time. I really, really don't know what I'm talking about. Just getting another load in. So what I'm doing is I'm using the wash and dry cycle. Yes, I do have a dryer in that. It just mm. it just takes a while. Anyway, this is what I woke up to this morning. The very next day from that beautiful sunshine, snow. It was snowing. It was bitter, absolutely freezing. I was so cold for the night. I kept waking up. I woke up every hour, cats are meowing because they think, oh, she's awake, therefore you must feed me. No, I mustn't feed you every hour. I am a human being that would like to sleep. And this is my sleeping time. You sleep all day on radiators and cushions and cardboard boxes. I would like to sleep in the night time. Thank you. But do they let me? No. 
No, they do not. They're absolute furry little blighters that just think for themselves. They just care about themselves and that's it. Anyway, I just had my son come in, right? We we're just talking about something really, really funny. Anyway, you can imagine what it's to do with and it's yes and number two. So we're having a good old giggle about that. Then he starts talking about George Ezra again. So I'm like, right, why don't you just write him a letter? We know his address. I can just post it tomorrow. So write everything you want to write out and we'll get it sent off. And he's like, oh, he's literally bouncing off the walls right now. He's gone into this room, this room that you can see right now. And he's writing away, listening to George Ezra. And he's writing him a letter. Bless his heart. He's so excited. So I'm going to get that done tomorrow. Send that off. Yes. Have a happy little boy. Yeah. What is going on with George Ezra anyway? He's not bringing out anything, is he? What's going on? What's going on? So, freezing, flipping cold. Got the heating pumping like an absolute demon. Soon working up an absolute sweat because I'm wearing four flipping layers while I'm trying to clean the house. But the door frames are really bothering me in this hallway because I used a matte paint and I only did one coat and I was supposed to go back and do another one and I didn't. I think you're all aware that I tend to do things and not complete them fully. So what have I done? Got to start putting on some satin black paint in a bit and I'll show you all the chip marks. Yes, they're bad. They're really bad. But it's going to be so nice when it's done. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, getting the old hoover out, blowing my nose in the process. Trying to screw that back on because it's not fitting properly where it's come off. And uh, going around giving the front room a good hoover over. I need to mop this. Um, but have I? No, because today's been manic and I haven't been able to finish it. I need to mop it tonight though when everyone goes to bed. So that's all good. Don't don't pull me up on it. Don't say, how can you hoover a floor and then not mop it? Because I know I'm becoming more and more obsessed with things being clean as the days go on. Honestly, it's getting ridiculous. Tonight, all I found myself doing is saying, don't touch the door frames. Don't touch the door frames. I've said it about a million times. Yes. So getting the cushion covers, cushions off the sofa and what do I find? Popcorn down there. But you never know with popcorn because it's quite dry and stale anyway, isn't it? Okay, you can't tell how long it's been there. Shouldn't have been there too long because I've not had popcorn in the house that long. But anyway, <gasps> flipping love popcorn. Sweet popcorn's the best. Can't imagine what the chocolate one tastes like, but I don't know if anyone's had popcorn before and then had a bit of chocolate spread. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I imagine the two combined is quite nice. So hoovering up all the sofa cushions and popping this back to make it all nice and fresh. Yes, I still need to get something to clean. I need one of those handheld little cleaners. And I've had some recommendations and I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so much. Little green machine. I believe it's the most popular one that's come back on the comments. So I have been having a look and I've got some saved in my Amazon or watch list. So yes, I will definitely be on that. Oh my goodness me, I keep stopping. If it sounds like I've stopped my voiceover and then started recording it, it's because I can't stop sneezing. My nose is blocked and running and sneezing and it's just disgusting. It's disgusting. So giving the carpet on the stairs a really good hoovering over. You can't really see it until I show you that close up. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it bugs me. It really bugs me. And then once it's all hoovered, I guarantee you, someone will walk down the stairs or upstairs and you can see it again. So indulge in the fact that there's nothing on there right now because it won't last longer than a minute. Here we go. Look, wicks, satin, look at its chipping. Not only that, the amount of furniture I've been taking in and out of here has caused me to knock the door frames and that's what's happened it's just chipped away so definitely not doing a mat again keeping with the satin because i think it's going to work a lot better and plus this is the second coat so it should be a lot better but i'm thinking of doing these skirting boards as well i'm going to go for oh i'm going to complete this as like a gothic gothic hallway yeah so anyway nick comes in to borrow the hoover right and i'm absolutely wetting myself laughing on the floor because he couldn't believe his eyes when he opened it and he had to show you. Yeah, that's how bad it is. Look, this is Nick doing this. He's showing you the contents of my hoover. Cheeky bugger. Anyway, it is coming on really, really nice. It's going on nicely, but it is really hard to see the difference between where I've been. I had to keep putting light towards it so I could see because I'm putting black on black. And um, yeah, I don't want to leave any mat behind. I want to make sure it's completely covered in the satin. So not only that, I started to drip it on the floor, didn't I? Thankfully, it wiped off quite easily, but I got the sheet out, the rolling dog sheet. Oh, it's an absolute lifesaver. 
and I've just put everything on there and then I can just drag that around the hallway as I'm where I need it so I'm not getting paint absolutely everywhere but look it's going on a dream a dream let me tell you so yes I'm thinking of going for like a gothic-y kind of um old-fashioned kind of witchy decoration to this hallway so I've seen a lot of stuff on um various various websites that I want to get like and get these really nice pictures of like um haunted looking candles and like um crows in like creepy looking trees and yeah all this really i love all that kind of like um all these stones you can get and i love all my incense sticks and stuff so i want to do that in this hallway and i'm really looking forward to it because i think it's going to fit absolutely perfectly and it's somewhere i can have just that little that little side of me can be in this hallway so i'm really really excited about that I will be doing that, but that's definitely going to be after Christmas. So don't expect me to be doing it prior because Christmas presents is stressing me to the max. You know, when you've just got so many people to buy for and you think, do you know what, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Because even if you did 10 quid a person, you're still clocking up. You're still clocking up a hell of a lot because, and what can you get for a tenner? Nothing. Nothing. And then you start thinking, okay, right, so, because... You start thinking, oh, you know, maybe £20 a person, £30 a person, £40 a person. When you've got, like, you know, 20 people or more to buy for. Whew. Yeah, it's insane. And I don't include my kids in that because, you know, obviously you, you spend more on your kids, don't you? Your, your Christmas for the kids, making sure. Look at that, doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look nice? The, the, sh the light is shining on that gloss. It is not on that satin. It is not a mark that I've left yeah and just pop that back once it was dried and then i've got to go off and i'm going to go and pick up my friend's son from school so i'm going to put some hot water into my roses because hot water brings them back yes it does i learned that trick many many moons ago and that's it i'm done freezing cold i'll see you in my next one